It's been a very wet January so far from flooding rains to plowable snow and even some wild temperature swings. No dry January here. <laughs> Stephen Matrigrano takes a closer look. There's been no shortage of active weather for southern New England the last few weeks and signs continue to hint that it won't be changing anytime soon. The combination of rainfall and snow melt from several previous storms has left many still dealing with the impacts from flooding. Taking a closer look at the numbers, so far in January we've seen 8 to 10 inches of total precipitation across parts of northern Rhode Island and northern Bristol County, with at least 5 inches of precipitation across the rest of the area. And we'll look to add on to these numbers before the end of the month as another storm is on the horizon. Now, a wet January doesn't mean a dry February or March. In fact, some signs point to this active pattern continuing. Meteorologist Rob Magnia from the National Weather Service in Norton spoke to 12 News about what the rest of winter could look like. We've had plenty of big snowfall events during El Nino patterns before. Typically in an El Nino winter, which is what we are experiencing, we see the cold and increased snow threats arrive for the second half of winter. There's no reason to think that into February, maybe even portions of March, that we could get those storms develop uh, along the East Coast and, um, you know, produce cold enough temperatures to produce, produce a significant snowfall event. Now, how the rest of winter shapes up remains to be seen, but the long range guidance suggests if you're a fan of snow, don't lose hope quite yet. In studio, I'm meteorologist Stephen Matragrano, 12 News.